What's good, Pooban? I only think his chicken and Peru is damn good. So much better. Yeah. Peruvian does an excellent job at roast chicken. How do they do about fried chicken? Will it be better in Louisiana? Oh my god. Smells good. Hi, we are Kenneth and Laureen from The Mixtape Chef. We are a supper club based in Singapore and we believe in bringing the world closer one dish at a time. As we dig deeper into the classic dishes from around the world, we only find more similarities than differences. So in late 2018, we set out on a three and a half months foodie tour to 10 countries, which had cuisines that we were interested to learn more about. This is our journey. Subscribe to follow our adventure. Everywhere, everywhere we go to the market. market. And we're here at San Pedro Market. It is apparently designed by the Mr. Eiffel. Mr. Eiffel does a lot of things around the world actually. Everywhere you see his work. And San Pedro. You see little dogs waiting for food very cutely. Yeah. Big fan of tamale. We saw lechon with tamale. I couldn't stop to resist to sit down. It's a suckling pig with tamale. Wow! 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 The whole pig. Wow! We get some juicy suckling pigs. Having some lechon. Oh, it looks so tender. Oh, look at it. Crispy skin. Tender meat. My tulio. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can't make up what spices is there, but it's tender, it's juicy, skin is crispy, everything you need in the second pig. Yum! It's a bite up. It's a bite Not as flavorful as the one in the. Uh, we had in the uh, Wong's. It's a little bit of. It's a little bit of um, filling inside. Look how it falls apart. Light. Light and fluffy. Mm. Ahi? The nice thing is told us that she cooked the whole pig for seven hours. And you know it's seven hours because you can how every bone came up on the meat. Amazing. How every meat came up on the bone. We travel to different markets from different regions. We start to see that what specialty food they start to have. Yeah. And what are the things that they uh, have plenty of. Yeah, we have plenty of. You don't even see a single seafood shop here. None. That's when they're made out of the mountains. Potatoes, 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 It's more like a dessert by itself. By the way, this is the Lukuma Chocolate, is fine. Caram caramel, toffee. Yeah, it's good. This avocado, avocado milkshake. Juice. Not juice, lah, milkshake. Yeah, milkshake. Very milky. You look disappointed. A bit, a bit. You look disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, alright, yeah. disappointment. Juice in uh, South America is like, they always make a very big cup. And there's always extra, so you, you drink a little bit, and they always top it up for you. More juice. You don't waste it. Don't yeah, waste but they cannot steam it properly for the cup. Yeah. <laughs> Finish. Very popular shop with four people. people nice, nice uh, like there's like not a lot of people, but like this shop is so much people for Galo de Gaina. So much better. Yeah. Oh. So 
there's only three tables table for three people. Uh, everyone else is just holding the bowl of chicken with my hands. I did it for five minutes, I don't know how to do it for they've all been eating there with a the whole piece of chicken. Like the whole period of the whole bowl and the chicken is so big. Yeah, like, you need two hands! How are they doing without a table? Amazing. And they're so nice to give it to us. Oh, that's very, very good. They know we know skill. <laughs> There's a shop, there's only three seats in front, but there's two rows of chairs and everyone is just sitting there with a bowl in their hands of hot soup. I don't know how they are doing it. How are they doing it, see? The kitchen is so big, no? Like, you need two hands. But no table, it's amazing. But she's a champion, man. Oh, the soup is sweet. The soup is sweet. The, soup is sweet. the, the onions. onions give it a kick and a chili the kick. With the with the vinegar, the pickled stuff. Oh. Thank you to the, the woman who stopped us and allowed us to try this one. Wow. And Shaki Red Dog. Shaki Stray Dogs. Oh, look, so cute. Oh, my. Oh, I was trying to get some food. I'm not tea, huh? Oh, the Peru dogs have learned the art of. Out of, out of manja for some food. Once again proven, any chicken, anything with chicken in Peru is damn good. To be fair, the chicken wasn't cooked the best because it was a bit tough. I think it's because it's a uh, hen. Yeah, I think we should have just gone with the boil, maybe the more one. Yeah, yeah. But the soup, the soup, the noodles, the stock. It's just a simple chicken noodle soup, but just executed so well. Nice. So Chicha, they open all over Peru and each one focusing on the indigenous ingredients from the region. So it's quite cool. So we are here to try the Cusco one. So Chik Gaston has taken our money again. Chicha in Cusco, they have no seafood, they have no ocean, but they use river trout as a ceviche. How smart! Look at that gorgeous corn. Toasted corn, right? Chancha. Basically you have the main star which is here is the trout and then they always accompany it with the white corn, the big yes. ones here as well as the toasted ones and, and uh, sweet potato. So the idea here is that it's uh, the sweet and the sour all in the same thing Yes. and the texture. Yes. Yeah, it's everything right here. And the spice, so usually they always see us as uh, foreigners and Ringo. they think that we cannot eat. We cannot eat spice, but we told them that give us, give it to us as normal as it would. So we have the rocotto, rocotto here. See, he gave us a warning that it's extremely spicy, so I can't wait to try it. Begin. Hey. This is a rocotto. They say it's very spicy. Spicy lah, but keep on your. Uh, so we have a normal sopado, which is the, seems like the most classic Chinese dish of all time. We, we, we've said this a lot of times already. So and tell me what's different about this normal sopado. We have chica, which is the, the most atas version of this. And see what they can do when they have great ingredients. Check it out. Oh, nice medium red chunks. Uh -huh. Lomo saltado you have. We have five versions of Lomo saltado. It is the best. What's the sauce inside? What's inside the magic sauce? Because it's so good, right? This woman, guess it correctly, it's oyster sauce. Count on a Chinese to add umami to the sauce. Down the square, <laughs> trying to find a place for dinner to eat. Yeah. Have troubles finding a place to eat in Cusco. In Cusco. Very bad. <laughs> What's going on, in Peru? Cusco. We're trying to find a local place, but uh, everything here is either touristy, touristy or atas. expensive. Uh, like everything, we'll keep giving money to Gaston. <laughs> yeah, Gaston keeps keeps money. Keep stealing our money. So, <laughs> so we decided that we will not give any more money. So we decided that we'll go and eat. Nikkei food. But Nikkei is all, all fish, are they fish are they? Yeah, they are, apparently they have, apparently people are saying it's the best sushi they ever had, but it's <laughs> yeah, I know. There's, there's so much tourists here that you know that everything here is a bit overpriced and touristy. Yeah. Oh wow, it's a... Bisteca Morada. 
Morada, Morida. What do we have here? Okay, we have the piece of meat that is right on top. We have avocados here, we have carrots, we have bananas. And we have french fries. We have french fries and we have rice at, at the bottom of here. So confusing. So confusing. And egg. Oh, it's chow fun? Yeah, chow it's chow fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have that. It's pretty well keep fit when a fried chicken comes with fries and chow fun. Fries and chow fun. What's going on? So much food. Chef, what we have. So Peruvians love fried chicken. So we keep seeing this word called a pollo roster. So I'll finally order it. It's actually fried chicken. And uh, the first cut into it is actually very moist. And they, I know that Peruvian does an excellent job at roast chicken. How do they do about fried chicken? Will it be better in Louisiana? Oh my god. Oh my god. It smells good. <laughs> really? It's good. Um, Tell me about the chow fun also after you eat. I can't pick up the flavors, but there's a spice to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what spice it is. But it's well merited, like you can taste it. Rivals, Louisiana's fried chicken. And the chow fun is not bad too. Fun. Peru servings are too big, too much carbs. The bread is too small, look at that. Oops. <laughs> Issue number two. Can someone just tell the whole country of Peru to give a spoon for chow fan? I've been eating chow fan with a fork for the last week. It's getting ridiculous. Yes, there's too many, too many issues. They do their chow fan. Peru, you've got, you nailed your chow fan, man. She won't eat it. But then they give you a spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth is that we haven't been very, very well away by Peruvian flavors, but we are very well away by Peruvian cooking skills. The chow fan is it's not an easy dish to nail. They nail it almost everywhere. <laughs> that fried chicken is moist. I mean, the flavor is not great, but it's, it's moist, it's falling off the bone, it's cooked them now, it's marinated well. So maybe when they say Peruvian food is good, it's because they can cook well. I mean the flavors are not mind blowing, but damn they can cook. We are and a cooking class. class. Achula, that's, yep. that's the name. Achulado, okay. Yeah. You see the different colors? Yeah. Blue, yes. red, and green. Yeah. We learned the three grades of Crisco. So I think they, it's the different grade when it's a different part of the distill. Mm -hmm. uh, the last part of the distill, there's the start of the distill, the middle of the distill, and the last distill, the last pool of the distill. So this is the lowest end, the lowest grade, Acho Lado. And then the meat, the meat pool, it's not sweet. This one is Quebrantanta. Uh, it's the meat pool, it's a bit more fruity. Uh -huh. It's much smoother than this one. This one is the highest grade one. It's uh, smooth, this is smooth. But it's more floral flavor to it. Yeah. It's the first pool. Who I thought? Pisco. Pisco. Complex. Complex. <laughs> okay, from now on, Lorigo will be your bartender. What's your face? More, more, more. I made it without Kenneth Young's help. <laughs> by my own. Hiba. He did not help me, I did it by myself. <laughs> wow, so, so we just made ceviche. And uh, it's very different from the way I make it. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Alright. Lunch. How there? A nice waiter. <laughs> so we stumbled upon this place. Uh, no, we found this place. Lunch place it's right. called Picanteria. It's like a little Tradition local local lunch. lunch place. So lunch, they have all this menu. Um, Three course meal for seven soles. It's always cheaper than yesterday. Yeah. And it still comes with a drink. Yeah. So good stuff. So if a Peru is looking for cheaper, they look for Picanteria for lunch. For sure. Get a nice bowl of big bowl of soup for starter. It's like squash again. Chef, what's up? This is a Fukuyama. This is strawberry beer. They mash the strawberry, I think they put sugar and they come out overnight. So they got two or three percent here. Mm. Oh yeah, so 
Is this sweet? You don't see how they put the sugar, the fermented. But yeah, it's refreshing. Refreshing? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Put the other. Put the other. So, it's been welcoming guests the whole time for the last half an hour. Just sits there. Just sits there. Look cute and welcome you. It's the cutest thing ever.